Hi guys, this is you versus them for the 9th through the 16th. This reading is for my Cancer friends. Alright guys, let's see what we've got. Something fell. Don't know what that was. Let's see how you guys felt about this person or this relationship. How did you feel about this person? How did Cancer feel about this person? Please show me. How did Cancer feel about this person? The Empress? Hmm. I get the sense that a lot of you feel like you did everything for this person. You were there for them. Um, you were every woman. You know, you, you had sex with them when they wanted to. Um, you supported them in their endeavors. I mean, basically, you felt like you were the one. You were the one. And you really felt like you guys were going somewhere. Okay? You really did. Taurus, Libra, um, Aries energy here. But you also felt like you, you were the one that always had to initiate things. <clears throat> what is their feelings about the relationship? I'm getting an angry feeling coming here. King of Pentacles. Hmm. I think both of you kind of feel taken advantage of because this person feels like, I mean, they were there for you too. That they cared for you. They supported you um, in whatever it was that, that you were doing. I feel like this person uh, basically was somebody that used money to try to like not take care or control but they showed how they felt about you by spending money on you, by um, buying you things, maybe paying off the bills. Um, I get that they're very stubborn, can be angry at times when things don't go their way. Um, kind of like entitled is what I'm getting here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What's currently happening for Cancer? Eight of Pentacles. You're working. There's something that you're working towards, some kind of goal that you're striving towards here with this Virgo energy. Um, I do feel like you guys are saying to yourselves, like, I'm a work in progress. Um, but there, there's some status or some situation that you expect to find yourselves in by, you know, working on yourselves and working on... Um, just not allowing people to overstep your boundaries or take advantage. I feel like you're working to build a legacy for yourself. You guys also want an undeniable connection, um, stability, commitment in every way is what I'm getting from you. Like you want it all and you know you deserve it. <clears throat> this is currently happening for them currently happening for the other person judgment I feel like this person is trying to decide whether or not they're going to give you another chance <laughs> whether or not they're going to they want to continue to work on this um, but you know they're they're hearing this this call like you know now is the time because I'm sensing that there is a missed opportunity approaching and that missed opportunity is going to be from them because I see you guys, you know, feeling like you have it all together, basically. All you need is the person that matches you. And you're not really sure if this person is the one that matches you. And there's something that's very entitled about this person that makes them feel like okay so when they decide that they want to work on things with you that they can come back but I get the sense that this person is going to get their feelings hurt Scorpio energy here <clears throat> what's influencing cancer situation Queen of Cups <laughs> see what I'm talking about you want someone that loves you you want the situation to be 
this person, this other person to be emotionally involved, not just financially involved and feel like, okay, because I'm taking care of you or I'm doing things for you, that that means that you love me or I love you rather. And I get this how you, you know, feel about this person. They feel because they give you material things that that shows you that they love you. Um, is some people think that way. But you guys being a water sign, you need that emotion. You need to feel like you have an emotional connection, atta not attachment, but connection with this person. Um, because that's kind of what, like, <coughs> excuse me, bonds you, you know, together. <coughs> excuse me. Um, so... <clears throat> I think that you're at a point where you're learning not to give your emotions when the other person's not reciprocating it, okay? Not just trying to give, 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 and hopefully, and hoping that they catch on and start giving back emotionally. Uh, no, okay? I think you want somebody that you don't have to tell that um, you need more from them. You want that to be already something that this person has inside of them to basically, you know, know what they're supposed to do without you being like mothering and saying, hey, and pulling their hand along. You want reciprocity without fighting for it. Okay. What I'm getting from you guys. <clears throat> What's influencing the situation with them? The two of pentacles. I don't think they're stable is the thing. I feel like this person juggles. Um, I do sense a strong entitlement issue with this person. Capricorn energy here. Um, they have a lot going on. They could possibly, you know, want options. Um not be tied down you know when i think about this energy that i'm feeling here this feels like somebody that can have you know a significant person but then because they're taking care of that person Feeling like they can also have something on the side is is the energy that this person has. Like, you know, those people that are always those. And I know I'm going to offend some people here. Um, when you have somebody that's almost 50 years old, that's never been married. It gives you the impression that this person is constantly looking for someone better. Like they always are looking for better people or somebody that they feel like better suits them so they never really settle down because they they feel like if they settle down then they may miss out on an opportunity to be with someone that's better and that's the energy that i'm getting coming from this person okay <clears throat> what's coming in for cancer five of wands Hmm. Conflict. Conflict here. Leo energy. Huh. Either this is you guys, you know, battling with yourselves over a decision. Um, or this is you feeling like you, you were actually like fighting with this person or fighting over this person hmm let's see what's coming in for them but it's, it's definitely definitely conflict here queen of swords I feel like there's going to be some conflict with this person and I feel like they're coming across very petty and that's what's angering you what's coming in Um, but this person I feel is already angry, uh, is entitled, wants you to tell them what it is that, I mean, 
sometimes people have this way, this aggressiveness, and I feel like this is aggressiveness from this person, and it's just bringing some turmoil your way to disturb your peace. But um, there's something that they feel like they want to know about what you're doing, who you're dating. Um, although I see them here with this Two of Pentacles, and this is juggling. It's like they can do it, but you can't. There's some conflict that arises here. What's the outcome here for Cancer? Queen of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Nine of Pentacles for you. Nine of Pentacles. Going about your merry way, doing your own thing, and not letting this person affect you. Okay? I see you doing that. I see you like being not bothered after this initial confrontation or whatever it is that they do to disturb your peace because I feel like this is some petty shit that they have going on um, and, and they may reach out to you or they may do something that's passive aggressive even or indirect like posting some shit that just pisses you off you know something like that but I see that in the end I mean it, it's a non-factor for you okay <clears throat> Virgo energy there. What is the outcome here for them? Three of Wands. Three of Wands. <laughs> Still waiting. Still waiting on you to react to them. Still waiting on you to like appease them. Satisfy whatever little angry tantrum they're throwing. Because I do sense there is a tantrum here that this person is throwing. And even if you are not verbally communicating with them, there's something that they're doing to try to get your attention and to affect you. And it does for a minute here with this Five of Wands energy. But not for long because you're like, Tuh. yeah, this is Aries energy here. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.